Let's do a little walk around of MGC 2021. This is Friday, it's game day. Everybody's starting to bring their games, get them set up. We have a game auction right now. It's not going on yet, but these are the games that will be on auction that you can buy, well, bid on and buy. I love that gore. So these are, I, I'm assuming these are all the auction games because that's what the sign says. A lot of quarters and karate can. And then he, here are all the games that are either for sale or free play. You know, this, this is a really rare one. That's a Spanish game. Very cool. I seen it lit up yesterday and I didn't play it yesterday, I should have. But I did see it, it was really cool. Um, I believe some of these here, I believe the Soul Row is owned by MGC. Not for sure. Triple Strike. I got one of these at home. Here's some more that are, I believe, are part of the auction. I'm not sure. Here's some more cool games you can play. People get them set up ready to go. Here's Spooky Pinball. And there's Jersey Jack and Chicago Gaming Company. Here we go, John Carpenter's Halloween. I wish it was on and lit up. And then Ultraman on. These are essentially both the same games, but they're, they have the same layout, they're just different graphics. And here's some more of the games that have, are, are still coming in that you can play for free or buy. There's mine. Here's my other one. World Cup Soccer. Gotta love that game. I did one of these. That game is awesome. There's a Weapon 3. I play that one. Most on it's great. Here's the Baywatch I did. This is owned by Midwest Gaming Classic. I did that game. So here's a couple other ones that are getting set up. We'll go over to the Stir and Marco area. I believe a lot of these games that are over here are from Kingpin. And you can see, this is just not adults here. They got kids stuff here. We'll go through that and show the kids stuff. Here's Tilt Amusements. They got a couple of their games set up. Here's Stern. Look at all the Godzillas. Look at all the Godzillas, everybody. Yes, these are all free. I mean, well, free play. They're not free. They're all free to play. Look at all these guys, fellas. Here's the Marco area and Stern area. Yep, we got more Godzillas, everybody. Here's some Avengers. Here's the Marco stage. I should be on there. There's the Marco Pin Lounge. Helped set that all up yesterday. Here's some more of the Kingpin area. See, they got a little kid, kid stuff too. It's not all in all here. Zeppelin, Black Knight. Look at that, that's so cool. The whole area that they got for Godzilla. I think they counted 20 Godzilla games. So let's get over here and look at the Chicago gaming again. And then we'll spin around and look at Jersey Jack. Here's Ghosts in a Shell. That's Ed from Pinball Mayhem's game. I gotta play this again. It plays like butter. It's so smooth. I really, really enjoyed playing it again. Last on MGC. Here we go, Jersey Jack Pinball. I will be playing this. This 
is Guns and Roses. I head to the Caribbean. So, you know we got a mess here because we're still setting up. Hobbit. Those are the bars. There's another Guns N' Roses. Willy Wonka in a chocolate factory. I was torn up between buying Willy Wonka and the Beatles. And you know who won. Here's American Pinball. They are just starting to pin up, um, set up. I was helping Dave. There's Dave right there. You've seen him on my streams before. We were working on the William Strait Flush. He's just getting the games set up and updated right now. They got a lot more to bring. These, um, I believe, are the tournament games, some of them, that are going on. There's three coins. I did a little work on that one for him. And here is some of the old gaming museum. Yes, you can play all this stuff. Look at that. When's the last time you saw one of them fired up and working? Oh, I see a, a Vectrex. I haven't seen one of these things in years. Look at all the old TVs that work. That guy. When I was a kid, all the rich kids had that. Oh, I wasn't a rich kid, but all my rich friends had one of these. I had a choice of getting one of these or a home stereo. Got the home stereo. Television and television. Is that Aquarius? Old Odyssey. I remember those cartridges. Channel F. Oh, a Fairchild. Valley Arcade. We have more over here. Those look like like a couple of apples. We got an Atari flashback right there. Some more stuff. This is remember. This is just setup day. We are still setting up. Holy cow, I haven't seen one of these in forever. Wow. This is when you went to the store. They had this set up. And you could test all the games before you cried and made them bug you to buy you one. Some board games that are ready to be played. Now look at this. E.T. I love that game. People said that game sucked. If you knew how to play it, it rocked. And this is uh, going to be the Yu-Gi-Oh! area. If I said it wrong, I am sorry. Tabletop tournaments. We got Doodle World over here. They are, looks like they're assembling some NES cartridges. Like remember, this is Friday. We are just setting up everything. There's going to be a DJ booth and where we're going to be streaming from. More retro consoles. There's another PlayStation right there. There will be N64. There's Dreamcast. All that good stuff. When's the last time you saw a stack of working CRT TVs? These are all working. They're all MTCs. They're part of this whole experience. Look at that Sega Master System. Look at that funny Nintendo. Atari Jaguar. Never had one of them. Sega Saturn Xbox. Panasonic 3DO. I have a couple of 3DOs. I'm gonna sell them things someday. Mike's got first jab on them though. I think I got one 3DO, it's a gold store. Look at that. Nintendo Virtual Boy. I think I have two of them things. I have two of them. You actually stick your head right up into there and you play it kind of like sitting down at a table. There's some giant screens to play on. So we're all setting up here. So yeah, everybody, check out the Midwest Gaming Classic 2021. Get your butt down here, play some games. This is the place to be. This weekend, November 5th through the 7th, 2021. So everybody, um, 
take care and later.